Welcome to this how-to video from CBioPortal. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can explore individual patients in detail by visualizing genomic data in the context of a patient's clinical timeline and by analyzing the genomic evolution of a patient across multiple tumor samples. For this video, we need to get to CBioPortal's patient view, which we'll do by going to study view for this low-grade glioma study. Before continuing to patient view, which we can do here, I want to point out this chart which shows the number of samples per patient. We can see that every patient in this cohort has multiple samples profiled. Now, here on patient view, we can explore each of those patients comprehensively. And today, I'm going to focus on two features in particular, this patient timeline and the genomic evolution tab. The timeline will only be visible when detailed patient history data is available. And the genomic evolution tab will be present for any patient with more than one profiled sample. Let's start with this timeline, where you can see many rows reflecting a variety of different data types. Here, we can see when the specimens that are sequenced here were acquired, as well as various therapies that the patient received, and we can align the timing of all these events. So we can view genomic results in context of the patient's clinical history. For example, this second sample is hypermutated with over 1,200 mutations. And we can see that it was actually sampled after the patient received temozolomide, which is a mutagenic chemotherapy. Note, this timeline visualization can accommodate a wide range of data types. For example, I'll quickly jump over to a prostate cancer case, where you can see this line chart showing change in PSA values over time. Now I'd like to move on to the genomic evolution tab. For this, I'm going to go to one of the other patients in the cohort. And here, we see a patient that has four samples profiled. The genomic evolution tab provides two distinct visualizations based around mutation allele frequencies. First, this line chart where each line and dot represent a specific mutation and its allele frequency in a given sample. We can see mutations shared across all samples like this one, mutations present in only a subset of samples like this, and others like these unconnected dots, which are only detected in a single sample. Another way to view this data is as a heat map, where we cluster samples on this axis, mutations on this axis, again, based on the mutation allele frequencies. Note that both the heat map and the line chart can be customized in a number of ways. Note the settings at the top here, as well as here, making these very powerful tools for analyzing genomic evolution. You can also add the timeline to view this data directly in context of the rest of the patient's clinical course. We hope you found this video helpful. If you have additional questions, please check out the other resources listed here or reach out to us by email.